the reason I came to uni was to make good films. I would look into the films that each university made. This was the quality that I wanted to reach. This was the one where I saw the work. And to me, there was just no comparison. I think the thing that stood out for me the most was realising that the lecturers are all industry professionals and they all are just as passionate about film as all of us that are applying and, and being on the course. Um, so to have active working industry professionals teaching you was invaluable. They run this like it's a real studio, you know. There's a big studio space, it's kind of like a sound stage. You've got all the flats so you can make sets. They have all the camera kit you'd ever need to make anything and make it look a professional standard. They've got rooms for you to do all your pre-production in, they've got all the resources for you to make the production, and then they've got more than enough resources for you to edit the film and do the end stages of post-production. Gloss students specifically seem to be having quite a lot of success with the work that's coming out of the course. Lots of people have been winning awards, um, being nominated for awards. So my grad film did really well at a lot of festivals. We went to Encounters and we won the best undergrad film within the section. We also went to Aesthetica. It's a festival that I've heard of for years, but never thought that our student film would get into. Um, so we managed to screen there, and it's gone on to win international awards um, for writing and best short and things like that. So it's, it's exceeded our expectations. I directed a short documentary film in second year of university, and it premiered at the Sheffield Duck Fest, which was one of my proudest achievements. There was quite a lot of successes with my year. There was a few awards at the RTS Awards, which is amazing, because I'm working on things now that I'm in the industry, and the stuff that I'm working on is also being nominated at the RTS Awards. So knowing that short films from our uni went there, you realise the kind of, the importance of it. It seems like there's always at least one or two films, if not more, that are up for awards. So there is a pedigree here for festival success that seems to continue year on year. The campus is amazing, it's, it's huge and it feels quite American because of the scale. We've got like this huge grounds, there's loads of sports teams and um, there's always something going on. Our campus specifically is, is quite different because we've got the creative people up on this campus. So we've got media students here and journalism students. So it's been really nice being able to mix with sort of like a really big group of people. In Gloucestershire, there were so many places that I'd never visited before and the scenery and the landscapes and the town around here are amazing. Um, there's some really good filming locations as well. So it was really good for us as students to be able to utilise our surroundings when we're in Cheltenham. You get to make lots of short films is the best thing about this course. You are hands-on very early days. You could literally be hitting a set within a month, six weeks of being at uni. Almost every week there was a guest speaker or a specialisms lecture with someone from the industry because of who the lecturers knew. So it was really exciting when we got the opportunity to have a Q&A with Rose Glass, who's just done St Maud, which was one of my favourite films of last year. So being with the uni, we got the opportunity to have a screening and then have a Q&A with the director, Rose, afterwards, which was crazy, <laughs> really exciting. We had Lewis Arnold, he's one of our alumni. He's directed quite a few TV dramas, things that have done really well on TV as well. And it was really great to hear his story about how he left uni and being like, yeah, this, this place got me to where I need to be. And you're like, cool, someone's, someone's done it. So that means we can all do it. I think the whole course really just feels like a family. I think we all are here because we love film and we're all here because we want to see each other succeed. So all of the staff really kind of felt like mentors. You sometimes get tough advice, but you know, as it would be from a family member, it's out of love and it's, everyone wants to see you improve and be the best version of yourself that you can be. As everyone always says, it's amazing that the lecturers here are working professionals. So everyone's working in the industry and each one has a specialism. Knowing that I was going to have learn all the backgrounds of film production in all the different departments. I was like, yeah, that's what I need. I need that guidance. As well as learning from them and their experiences, I felt like I could go to them with any issues or any questions or any problems and that they'd be able to help me. It was a very supportive course and a very supportive atmosphere. Some of my fondest memories were definitely the trips. Like we went to Berlin Ali in uh, Berlin, IDFA in Amsterdam in our first and second year. And that was a great experience to sort of really bond with the lecturers. We were out seeing films and to me, like I have some of my best memories with some of my closest friends now on those trips. In my final year of my film production course, I was commissioned by a streaming platform to make a series inside of virtual reality. I graduated whilst making that series and then two years passed and I managed to make a feature film and got it into Sundance. 
and the film is now available on HBO. Since leaving university four years ago, I've been working in feature films. So I started on the third instalment of the Fantastic Beasts series. And then I worked on Disney's Pinocchio, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. A job came up at MV post-production. So I started off there as a runner. And then come the new year of 2021, I became a producer on the producer's table. Mission Impossible 7, Dead Reckoning, The Eternals, another Marvel film, Indiana Jones 5, James Bond, No Time to Die. Now working in the industry and having done the course, it feels like I was best prepped entering into it. So from writing and directing short films here, I've actually used that as like a, a calling card that's led to me now working on TV projects. And the best thing about it that the uni do is they train you up in such a way that you're prepared for the industry. So working on a TV show, doing that jump isn't as daunting because you already know how the whole process works and it's very, very similar. We've been working on TV series um, in Canada, which has been really exciting, and just recently finished our first feature film script. After premiering my documentary at Sundance, opportunities have just been coming left and right for me. Um, I've been extremely lucky to have toured the film around festivals all around the world. I've been to about nine different countries this year, showing the film in Barcelona, Poland, Sydney, Australia, London, of course, and all around the States and in Canada. It's been quite an amazing journey. I think without the, the knowledge and the space and the creative collaborators that were on the course, I don't think I'd be the, the Sundance director that I am now. It was an extremely valuable time.